Walking that bitch on my toilet. Walking that bitch with the O's. They bit it, they bite and they look. Everybody and welcome to another X Bikes video. And today, guys, we got a snowmobile in the game. Okay, are you serious right now? A freaking snowmobile? Okay, we've seen some pretty wonky stuff in this game. Okay, some pretty interesting models. Okay, we've seen ATVs. We've seen different types of dirt bikes. We've seen some rally bike. We've seen some pit. But a snowmobile, this is different, okay? This is taking it a step further into a little bit of a different direction. I didn't think MX bikes would ever go, but man, oh man, am I excited about it, okay? I love winter sports. I skied a lot growing up. Never got the opportunity to ever ride a snowmobile. Very unfortunate, but uh, I get to do it virtually, so maybe that makes up for it a little bit. But hit that sum with that like button, guys. We're gonna be getting into it here, talking about this mod, talking about maybe some of the things that could happen in the future with it. As far as track creation, all that stuff, so stick around. Also, at the end of the video, we're going to be going to Lommel and doing some sand surfing, so you're going to want to stay tuned for that as well. But, um, yeah, let's get right into it, guys. This mod was made by Devo Proc Works. This is his first ever MX Bikes mod, so um, I just have to say it. bravo, good sir. You've done an extremely good job, and a lot of people appreciate this. I've made a few TikToks on it already because it's been out for a couple days, and uh, the support is crazy. People love this mod. So again, thank you, Dev, for doing this. This is this is awesome, and you know I've heard Lin say this in a couple of his videos recently. If you guys have been watching, he wants to bring the fun back to MX bikes, and I completely agree. I think you know with me and some of these other guys with tons of hours in the game, right? We play it all the time. It can definitely get a bit too competitive at some points, especially with these the, you know the pro races and the Supercross and MXGP, and you know we you know are getting frustrated in races and stuff. Sometimes it's fun to just kind of settle down and uh, you know hop into testing or you know do some fun races where it doesn't really matter who wins and get on stuff like this get on snowmobiles get on pit bikes get on you know super motos whatever it is and so um again shout out to dev you know the people that make mods for this game bro they make the game okay that's the reality i need to start making mods this summer i i, I said it last summer i want to make a track i actually need to do it okay i need to contribute actually physically to this game um you know, it's just, it's something that I need to do. I've seen a lot of, a lot of people do it. Linz has been doing it, making his arena cross stuff and pit bike stuff. So I need to start doing it too. Um, so it's going to happen. Okay. Just give me, give me some time. All right. I will contribute to this freaking amazing game. I will do it. Um, enough of me though. We're going to get back to this mod. So as far as the dyno and just physically how it feels, obviously this is a model over basically a dirt bike, right? because this game is built on the physics of a dirt bike, but I feel like he's done a few alterations to whatever's under this model that makes it feel somewhat like a snowmobile. It's not completely, okay? Obviously, you can still lean it over and stuff like that. This is not realistic for a snowmobile. You can't just lean a snowmobile over like this. That's not how it works. Um, but it's not, it's, listen, it's not the end of the world. And uh, this is version one. He called it the Snowcross Pack version one. There's only one snowmobile. There's a couple skins. But um, he's going to keep working on it, and he's going to keep going crazy. And uh, I really cannot wait to see the progress of this because, as I said a little bit earlier, I want to talk about kind of the opportunities this opens for track creators as well. Um, obviously, we see this track here by JV. Now, this is just a supercross track. It's meant for dirt bikes. you got some snow along the edges and stuff like that. Um, but people can kind of lean into stuff like this, you know, um, you know, snowmobiles, we can, we can do snow cross, you know, you could build, you know, winter X games stuff. And when you implement models like this and from different sports that maybe you wouldn't really think would be in a motocross game, it opens up the possibility for mods and, you know, for tracks and accessories as well. Maybe someone can make some gear, give us, you know, some cool winter sport backpacks and snowmobile helmets and some, you know, get some different brands into the game. And maybe we could get a snowmobile series. Like, there's so much that can happen. And it can bring a lot of people, you know, to MX bikes as well that, you know, otherwise wouldn't play. Maybe they don't really care about dirt bikes, but they're all about winter sports. They're all about snowmobiles. Uh, stuff like this is huge. It's huge for the community. And, you know, I, I think, hey, Give this mod a try, please, dude. I don't care if you don't like snowmobiles. Just give it a try. Give it some feedback on MXB mods. I, I really, 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 really cannot stress enough how important it is to um, test all the mods you can in this game. Give people feedback. Make an account on MXB mods. Tell people how you feel about this stuff. If you know a lot about snowmobiles, dude, make an account and give Dev a comment. Say, hey, man, I love what you did with this. 
Um, you know, maybe you could could change it in this direction, or maybe you know DM them on on Discord. I don't know. Let's help each other out, dude. Okay, this community has done so well for a reason. It's because everybody be helping everybody. It's the best part of the MX Bikes community. And um, you know, I'm not saying Dev don't got this on his own, but um, I'm not just speaking just for the snowmobile mod. I'm thinking, I'm speaking just for you know in general, right? For me to build a track, I'm gonna need to ask for a lot of help. And um, you know, if people are out there and they're communicating and they're they're helping other people out backflip, okay, I'm mid. Um, Stuff's gonna get done quicker, and we'll, we'll see more updates to, to stuff like this much faster as well. So, just wanted to add that in there. I do think that's very important. But uh, let's rip a couple laps here. Let's actually start to focus up a little bit and see if we can quadito this. Probably can't go quad quad. I don't got enough juice for that. Um, I do want to talk about some of the adjustments you can make on this snowmobile um you can mess with the gearing a little bit so what's interesting about this is there's one gear right because you don't have a clutch or you don't shift on a snowmobile at least i don't think i've never ridden one but i don't think that would be how it works right there's no gears on a snowmobile um and so he the the, the snowmobile just has one gear you just shift down from neutral into first gear and that is all you get but you can mess with the drivetrain, um, you know, and kind of mess with your gearing and, you know, gear it towards more of a, you know, a sand track, which is what these are meant to be ridden on, by the way. Um, or a supercross track or just a regular motocross track. And so you can get the correct amount of speed and acceleration that you want. If you don't know anything about drivetrain or gearing, there's probably videos on that on YouTube. If not, you can just learn how to adjust it. It really isn't too hard. And uh, also there's some suspension tweaks that you can make as well. I haven't touched gearing or suspension yet. But that is something that's pretty interesting that I think, you know, if you, if you want to get more into this stuff, you can you can do. So he's added that in as well. And again, if, if you guys know anything about snowmobiles or you want to give feedback, again, make an account on MXB Mods, leave Dev a comment, and, um, you know, I, I just want to see this progress further. And, you know, this guy, this guy's got a big project ahead of him if he wants to continue this. So I think, I think listen, help him out, okay? If you know some, help the brother out. But I think that's about it for the mod itself. I know the model he's, he talked about is, is pretty old. It's 14 years old. So this is by no means the end of, you know, how this is going to look. It's going to look a lot better going forward. Um, you know, it's going to take some time. But, dude, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this mod and uh, the future of it. And the future of MX bikes as well and, and more of the fun side or the different sort of wacky, wacky stuff that can be added into this game. So... Yeah, bike ride's super smooth. It's definitely very rideable. Um, it's going to take some getting used to if you're a newer player. But, I mean, you can see here, I'm I'm really not even struggling. Got good acceleration. The weight is good. I think maybe you could make it a little bit heavier. That's, I guess, a, a suggestion I would have. I know snowmobiles are very heavy. But, um, again, you got to make it work with the game. That's the most important thing. And I think it works absolutely great. Look at this, though. See if you added this little snow snow area out here that's pretty rough. Let's just ride around a little bit. Let's do some snowmobile free ride. Oh my god, I looped her. This, hey, this thing's got some freaking sneaky power, dude. I've looped this thing out a ton. Give it a little bit too much juicy, but uh, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to try to rip around. It's about third person. I think it's easy to tuck the front, though. Because this snow layer is just, it's just looks. You're not even really interacting with it. You're interacting with the dirt below it. So it's kind of hard to tell how deep some of these holes are. But you can see, I mean, I think it looks pretty sick. I've done a few um, freestyle things and uh, and I went back into replay and looked at it. It looks, dude, it looks so cool. So I uh, expect maybe a snowmobile edit coming soon on TikTok or something like that. But yeah, let's go to Lommel. Let's go to the sand track. That's what these are meant for at the end of the day. That's what they were tested on. So let's uh, let's get into that. Bows. All right, boys, we made it to Lommel. And uh, something I didn't mention earlier is that most of the testing on the snowmobile was actually done on sand tracks. So this is sort of the habitat it's supposed to be ridden in. So keep that in mind as well if you're riding on more hard pack or soft soil stuff. Sand is where it was tested, so I do encourage you guys to bring it out to a track like this or just any other sand track that you got, maybe Southwick or the uh, the new Hell Machine track. 
So that is something I do want to mention um, if, you're, if you're looking to ride this thing because sand to be honest a lot like snow um, It interacts a lot like snow and he put that in the description of the mod and I completely agree with him riding the sand over the last couple days it really does feel like snow and it is a ton of fun to ride this bike around Flanders here, or aka Lommel. Uh, very rough track, obviously very flowy as well once you learn the lines. But I mean, you can see here we are holding this thing wide open. Not the best sounding thing ever, but this is MX bike, so you gotta keep it wide open. You gotta listen to the Lemmy a lot. So I don't know if sounds will ever really be improved. I don't think the sounds are really that bad to be honest. It's just that I'm holding her wide. And so we're just listening to the scream of the engine here. Flower this. We're actually on a pretty good lap here. Oh my goodness. Jump over this. We go outside, rail this corner. Jump into this corner. Rail this as well. Oh my goodness. To the outside. Okay. Trying to see if I remember these lines. Yeah, you jump around this corner. I usually jump to the inside, but it's fine. Let's kind of coast into this corner. Oh my goodness. Felt really weird in that corner. Felt like I was getting resisted. Bike was trying to stand up on me, aka the snowmobile. Can I hit this triple? Oh! Oh my god, I almost landed that dude, imagine. All right, I'm gonna see if we can run a heater. Okay, that's a, I'm gonna see if we can run a little heater McGeeter here. Now, I don't really know what my, my 450 or 250 time was on this track. I think it was in the low twos. I think it was like a 208 or something. So we're gonna see if we can, see if we can go sub 210. That's kind of my goal here. I think it's gonna be really hard to do though. So we'll see if we can do it. There is some e road as well. I don't know if it's gonna help or hurt us. We're taking the lines I know right now. I'm pulling this thing wide. Oh, oh my god. Okay, that's gonna work fine. Rail this. Triple. Double. Triple this. Jump up here. Tire tap. Oh no. Get back on the track. I'm gonna go inside here. You really gotta get on the back wheel here. I know it's not a wheel or what, the back tread, whatever the hell you call it. I don't know a lot about snowmobiles, guys. I was a big skier growing up. Uh, never did snowmobiling, though. So I never really got the opportunity to do it. Oh my god, I am so horrible at this game. And reset. Uh, but yeah, I'd love to go snowmobile in real life. It, it sounds like a really fun, fun thing to do. And it's a lot easier to get up the mountain than when you're trying to hike up and ski. If anyone's ever backcountry skied, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to get absolutely moving and grooving. Alright, and I'm focusing up right now. No more mistakes for me. Straight snowmobile slayer right here. Okay, let's follow our ghosts. Can we triple that? Oh, we can. See, that's exactly what we needed to get the momentum around this corner. And we're going to get right by the ghost. We're actually going to go inside here. <gasps> All right, boys, we don't talk about that, but this is the hot lap right here. Trust me. We're actually going to go inside. See if we can try to get some speed down the straight. Oh, we didn't get the... You get the triple over, but it's going to be okay. I'm going to try to actually hit this inside correctly this time, just like that. And we're going to go inside to out. Oh my god. We saved it. Okay, we need to actually be perfect the rest of this lap to go sub 210. Don't talk, we don't talk about that, we don't talk about it. Okay. Turn. See, it really does feel like a snowmobile on the front end. I don't really know how to explain it or what exactly he did. There's something about it that don't feel like a dirt bike. 
So there's definitely been some alteration into the bike itself. You know what I'm saying? Not the model, but the bike. We know the model's a snowmobile. But um, there's a lot of, there's, you know, physics and stuff behind this. There's a dyno behind this that you can't see. But it, honestly, it, it somewhat feels like a snowmobile. It does not just feel like a dirt bike. In case some people are sort of questioning, you know, the physics behind this. It's based around a dirt bike, but it... Something about it, man, I'm telling you. Oh my... I just, I don't know what it is, dude. It feels like turning is a bit harder, which would be realistic. If you're actually on a snowmobile llama. Oh, that was a great line. Oh, what a line choice. They should talk about that in history books. You see, that's where I go down. And that's where we make the time. Get moving. Get moving. Break into the corner. And zing it. Oh, our lap didn't count, dude. They're... Nah, dude. They do not want to see the Jan win, bro. That is crazy. But uh, I think that's going to wrap up the video. Pretty short one. But uh, I just want to show this mod off. You know, get people to download it. Because we're probably going to do a race here soon. Let me know in the comments. You guys want to race? Get in my Discord if you do. Link in the description. I'll see you next video. Peace.